I'm going to run through how to crash this network in the first exercise. You'll notice a couple things in this first exercise. First is uh, that it presents us with all time uh, is in days. And we've also been given the direct costs. And we've been given uh, the direct costs under normal time conditions as well as crash time conditions. So uh, from that, uh, already the slope and the maximum crash time has been given or calculated for us. That's called slope because if you recall, if we were to graph out our time and our costs, uh, we would have our normal time and cost over here, and we'd have our crash time and cost here, and this is basically the slope of that line. So we know, for example, that uh, for B, we can crash it up to four days, and it's going to cost $200 per day. Okay, so just remember whenever it's pr is presented as slope, that uh, we have to know that that's per time increment already. If we're just given the uh, normal time and cost and the crash time and cost, we can certain, certainly calculate that. We would see here there's a difference of four days and that there's a difference of $800. And so 800 divided by four is going to give us $200 per day. Okay, so that's kind of our initial um, information here. But even more important is what is our critical path? So that's the first thing that we need to do in order to crash the entire project is determine uh, what is the critical path because we're going to look then at tasks on the critical path in order to get our project duration reduced by one day. Um, in this particular case, looks like we have two paths for our network. And um, let's take a look at um, each of these. So we have A, B, D, and G. And we also have A, C, E, F, and G. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in my durations into these boxes so I can calculate out which is going to be the longest path through this network. Now the way I was always taught it is if you did have a task that could not be crashed anymore, you would actually put an X behind it. So if you look here on uh, G, uh, there's actually no amount of money that we can add to this project to get G done any quicker. Okay, so if we come down here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put 5x in that spot. Now if I add up uh, this path here, I will find that that is uh, right at 33 days. Okay, so I'll put that in here. And if I add up this path here, I will find that that is at 38 days. Okay, so our project duration is 38. Our uh, total direct costs, uh, we get that by actually uh, coming up to the uh, normal costs here. And what we do is we add all of these up. And if you add all those up, I think you'll find that there's $9,700 of costs under our normal time duration. So we'll put that in here. Now I always find it's better to go slower when you're doing these calculations. If you try to rush through, it's easy to make a mistake and then you have to go back and do it all over again. So I often tell people that if you go slow, it will take less time. So what we need to do now is we need to figure out which of the tasks that are on this path, the A, C, E, F, G path, are we going to uh, try to crash. Um, so if we look at the costs, um, what we're going to do is um, come up here and uh, look at um, A as a candidate, um, C is a candidate for crashing, 
E is a candidate for crashing, and so is F. G is not, if you remember, because it can't be crashed. So what's the cheaper of these? Well, it looks like A is, in fact, the cheaper of these. Okay, so we're going to uh, crash A. A can only be crashed by one day, so I'm going to put a 4x here now. And I'll go ahead and fill these in. Our normal time was, uh, cost was 9700 Our additional cost of crashing here is at $100. And so our total cost at this time is $9,800. Our duration has been reduced on both paths because A is on both paths. So I have 32 and 37. Our project duration is 37. So now we need to look at whether we are going to crash C, E, or F. So of C, E, and F, which is the cheapest? Well, it looks like E is going to be the cheapest one. Uh, e is also uh, one of these tasks that can only be crashed by one day. So what we'll do is we'll come down here and we will crash E by one day. So that will have a 4x in it now. Our A will have a 4x. G will have a 5x. Make sure it's clear that's a 10. We have our two different paths here. Um, this one has is staying the same, 32, and we've been able to reduce the other path down to 36 at A, C, E, F, and G path, and our project duration is then 36. Okay, so now we have to look at, um, once again, our critical path, are we going to reduce this uh, network by reducing C or by reducing F. So it looks like we're going to um, be choosing C. It looks like C can be reduced by two days. So um, we can do that twice here. We're actually going to do it one day at a time. It's better to do it one day or one time increment at a time because of the fact that um, well, there's a couple of factors as to why you'd want to do that. There may be incentive payments that you're uh, wanting to gain by crashing the project, but they may have a limit on them, and it's not advantageous to go beyond a certain point, uh, other types of reasons. But before we move on to that, um, before we go ahead and um, do C here, I don't want to forget about adding up my costs. So now I have um, my normal cost here was 9700 I had um, a cost of $100 from crashing A previously, and I'm going to have another 400 for uh, crashing E this time. So my total cost this time period is going to be $10,200. As long as you have these accumulate, that's fine. So if you had the 9,800 from before and you just added 400, as long as they are accumulating, um, that will work out fine. So now we're going to go ahead and crash um, this one more time, and we're going to crash C. So C moves down to 12 days. Go ahead and put in all my other time periods here.
Okay, so I've got my two paths here, A, B, D, and G, and A, C, E, F, and G. And uh, my time periods at this point, uh, we're at 35 days for uh, this longer path, and at 32 days for the other path. My total project duration is 35 days. Okay, so once again, I'm going to want to calculate out these costs before I forget about it. We have $100 from A. We have $400 from E. And we have $600 from C. If I tally that all up, that should be $10,800. All right, so now we are... Um, ready to move on, and um, we could go back and compare C and F again, but we would find that C is not changed. It's still going to be $600 compared to what I think is the, uh, I think it was $1,500 for F. So we're going to uh, go ahead <clears throat> and move down to the next time period, and we're going to crash C one more time. <clears throat> this time we're taking it to uh, 11, and that's the maximum crash time that we can do here. So our options are becoming more limited. Okay, so we'll once again write down our different paths. The reason it's important to do that uh, each time is because we may find that the critical path will change. Um, this particular example kind of starts you out easy, and we don't have it changing a lot, but we need to um, be aware that that may happen. So here we have our costs. Um, We did C twice there. If I add all that up, it should be 11,400. My duration, if I go through this network, is going to be 32 days. That hasn't changed from last time. This other one has changed to 34. My total duration is 34. Okay, so now I'm going to see if I can crash it one more time. So it says, if possible, um, calculate the critical path and the cost of crashing this project by one more day. So I only have one option on the critical path uh, here to crash, and that's F. So if I go back here, I find that I can crash F up to two times for $1,500 each time. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So in this case, I'm going to have 4x, 10, 11x, 4x, 13, 5x, and now 9. Duration of this A, B, D, and G is 32 days. That hasn't changed. The duration of the other path has changed to 33. My overall project duration is 33 days. My costs here are now $100 for A plus the $400 for E plus the $600 for the first time we crash C, plus another $600 for the next time we uh, crash C, plus uh, the uh, $1,500 for this crashing of F. Okay, If I add that all up, that should be about $12,900. There's our total uh, costs at this particular time period. Okay, it asks us to do this one more time. We already know we have just one option. We have just one more uh, day that we can crash this by. So we'll go ahead and do that.
a lot of repetition in this exercise, but it's uh, designed to basically get you um, into the mode of being able to do these quickly and easily and get you into thinking of how to approach crashing. Uh, F, we're going to once again put an X here because we've now crashed it twice and that is the maximum amount that we can actually crash it. So both of these are our critical paths now. Okay, if we were to be crashing, um, if one of these on the uh, A, C, E, F, and G route were actually able to be crashed, um, we'd have to make sure that we did something on the other path as well. Okay, now we're getting quite a long list of all the different things that we uh, had. We had $100 for A, we had $400 for E, we had um, $600 for C, we had another $600 for C, we had $1,500 for F, and then we had another $1,500 for F. Uh, if you add that all up, that's $14,400. Now what we need to do is we actually need to um, look at what is going to be um, the optimum time period. So what we're going to do here in this little table is we're actually going to put in our project duration times. And we didn't go to minus 7, so we're just going to put NA there. And our direct cost at the original duration, when we add in these uh, extra costs for crashing by one day, went up to 9,800, then we went to 10,200, then we went to 10,800. Uh, then we went to 11,400, and then uh, we went to 12,900, and then $14,400. Now notice here we have incentives, $500 per day that the project is delivered early. Okay, so basically we're going to subtract off $500 for every day that we get this done early. Okay, so for incentives, we subtract those off. If it was indirect costs or penalties, we'd be adding that to our direct costs. Okay, that, of course, is an NA. We can't actually do it. Okay, so now we add up our totals here. And um, we're going to do this subtraction here. Okay, and it looks like our lowest cost is right here. So it looks like it would benefit us to actually crash this by two days. And that would be the uh, cheapest for our company or the maximum uh, profit for the um, if we were doing this for another company. So hopefully that um, helps answer a few questions about how we proceed through these crashing exercises.